Welcome back to the NAI Cheer and Dance National Championship. The first score of the day is in. The Concordia Cardinals have received their score. And the Cardinals, a final score of 78.98. 78.98 after a 79.07 performance today. So the score on the screen there is the final overall score. 79.98 for the host Cardinals. As taking the floor right now are the Viterbo V-Hawks. The V-Hawks turned into an 81.03 score yesterday. I also believe they're the only team here, cheer or dance, to have their mascot with them as well. Helping add to that excitement and that energy and pumping them up. The Hawks flying with a great performance there. What do you take away from it, Angie? Yes, their, um, their execution of their team turn sequence. Um, if my memory serves me correctly from watching them yesterday, the execution was better today. Um, it was it's just more, it was more synchronized, more together. Um, one thing they look for is that, you know, their legs are at the same level that they are in complete unison as they're turning and um, it, it just really was much better than yesterday from remembering um, their performance. They seem to have a more energy today. Um, I just think, you know, finals day that you bring it and, and we're seeing that with every team. And, um, you know, there might have been a few minor deductions. I'm not sure, you know, when you're watching with the naked eye, sometimes I, I'm not sure there might have been a hand down here or there. Um, but those are things for the deduction judge to figure out. But I do think that this was a better performance than yesterday. They just really had um, more energy. And like I said, their team turn sequence score should definitely go up from yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And we're joined now by head coach Anna Luz. Coach, how do you feel your team did today? That was beautiful. I'm so proud of them. I am so proud of them. After the comments that we got yesterday from the judges, we had some great feedback that we could go off of. and. We met last night as a team and we had a little practice and we just said like, hey, this is it. Two minutes, that's all you have. And we have two incredible, incredible seniors that have led this team for four years. And this was their last dance. This was their last chance for competitive dance for their career and they did it and they put everything out there. I'm so proud of them. Yes, they looked great. They they, they had an energy and a, and a 
and excitement and a passion. And um, I felt Pam hit stronger today. Good. It, it, the, I really saw the those moments. And, you know, that's tiring to do it at the end. And uh, I just really felt that they were definitely hitting all of those motions much harder today. And there was a strength behind them and that energy and in, in facials. Uh, yesterday, maybe it was nerves, you know, there was more confidence when it got to the palm section for sure. Mm -hmm. I think you should see an improved score there. I also thought your team turn sequence uh, much better today. Thank the you. uniformity was, was right there. Yeah, they were really synced up as a team. Um, from the time they woke up this morning. And yesterday we had a lot of nerves. Over half our team is brand new um, rookies this year. And so there was only five returners from last year when we were here. And so um, having them take the floor yesterday, get those nerves out was great. And then this morning they were just here to kill it. Absolutely. And you, you talked about some of the dynamic with uh, some of the younger. What, what did the two seniors provide in helping the younger ones uh, kind of get over the nerves from yesterday and really bring it today? Just stability. Just knowing like, hey, we got this and don't, you know, don't rush us getting ready. Don't rush um, the experience. Just really soak it in, and we have plenty of time. You know, don't stress about things. Just put your energy towards the routine instead of towards stressing about any distractions, and they really provided that just stability, calmness, and um, direction of the energy, which was amazing. Absolutely. Does it help having your mascot here to, you know, pump you up? And <laughs> yes, for sure. We had him come last year, too. Um, to Nationals. It was so fun. We're the only team that did it. And so we're like, we have to do it again. It's actually my husband in there. So shout out to the <laughs> dance husbands. <laughs> he did great. <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're loving it. You can tell. Oh, we yeah. can see them taking your picture with the mascot right now. So, But I know that gives them an added um, energy boost. You know, yeah. it's when you don't have a cheer team here with you to yell for you. I mean, everybody is supporting each other, but I think it helps to know you have somebody in your corner and, you know, a uh, a mascot there, down there, you know, doesn't, that's just another person in your corner and really yeah. giving you that excitement. Yeah, as a competitive as we are in nature, we also just, it's in the grand scheme of life, we are just here to have so much fun and have a great experience. And that comes from competing as hard as we can, but it also just comes from these small moments. And the girls are really good about just taking any small moment and turning it into a memory. And that's what's really special about our team. Absolutely. Con congratulations. Thank you. Congrats on a great season. Thank you so much. Coming up next will be the Oklahoma City Stars when we return to the NAI 